going to see what is the use of Power BI Gateway, what are the various modes available, and how it can be utilized. So if you go to powerbi.microsoft.com slash en gateway or you can search for power bi gateway so then it it shows you the location where the gateways can be downloaded from so if you click on this one there are two modes available one is the standard mode and other is the personal mode that is available okay let's have a look at the difference between both of them so if you scroll down you'll find that shows you the differences as well so here in this one the standard mode it can be utilized for power bi power apps azure etc lot many uh, applications it can be utilized for whereas this can be utilized only for power bi okay. and here in if once you install it multiple users can utilize this one this is the standard mode whereas it is on per user basis okay. and herein what you can do is they can log in and, uh, and the user even if he is not administrator he can use on premise gateway and uh, run a single user with credentials he can run this okay and the scheduled refresh the refresh can be refresh of the data can be scheduled by either of them there are a couple of there are only two services which are supported only in the standard mode which are direct query support and other is the support for live connections so if you want to make use of direct query or, or the live connection use then stick to this one on premise gateway and both of them are free of course there are no charges for it so you can download from this one the standard mode or personal mode and install it and thereafter you can log in with your credentials okay and here you have the gateway already installed on premises data gateway so if you click on it it will show you the screen something like this and you can click on the sign in button So you can choose the account and log in as well. Now when we talk about the gateway, it is nothing but a, it provides a secure channel over which your data moves. Now we are going to create a simple application or a Power BI report. We are going to publish it and thereafter we are going to refresh the data as well. So herein we have got Power BI application. So this is the one that I have. So herein let me just add, let me click on Excel workbook. So I'm going to have some data here, maybe my sales. So it is making a connection to the Excel file. So let me select the sales. And herein we have got item names i1, i2, i3, i1, i3. And this is the category and this one. This is just a sample, uh, sample data. Click on the load button. So we'll be able to see the data as well. So maybe let me just create a simple visualization, a table visualization, or or maybe matrix visualization. 
where in I add maybe the item the category here and then after I add the item and the sales amount in the values or maybe I can change it just change it to the table visualization so it contains a b b c four rows here how many rows do we have in the this one we have got five rows and the table is showing us oh maybe it is doing the sum operation we say that don't summarize it so we get five rows here so which is fine so we save this maybe on the desktop itself i'm saving and i'm giving it a name demo sales dot pbix okay let me click on the publish button so i select a workspace da100 demo or maybe i can create a new workspace so i go to power bi dot com and in the workspaces let me click on create workspace gateway demo click on the save button so the gateway demo has been created let me click on cancel and publish it again so here in we have gateway demo click on the select button so it is it is going to be published so we'll be able to see here so we can see the report here the content the same has been published now what we want to do is we want that the data to be refreshed here so we click on workspaces gateway demo here in we can click on data sets and here in we click on the settings we have got the gateway connection so it is not configured correctly so we click on view data sources so it is it is looking for the file my sales so we click on add to gateway so which is the which is the file where it is available so it will show us the data source settings screen so we can see my sales This is the file which is at this location and here in we need to supply the credentials and this is the username windows username and windows password click on the add button so the gateway connection we can see this and we, we will say that this file maps to my sales and click on apply button so the gateway has been updated and now we click on schedule refresh now we can schedule the refresh as well maybe daily at what time
you can add the time as well click on the time basically we can say this maybe it should happen after uh, at uh, maybe 12 p.m 12 a.m every day so at the night time when the load is less so maybe at that time so the refresh basically uh, notif the refresh failure notification should be sent to the owner or some of the other contacts if you want to add any email address as well you can do this okay apart from this now let's have a look at the file again d100 demo data my sales so it contains five records let me add one more so this is this is the fun so here in what I do is I say that I say that insert the record so we're in I say that the item name is i4 and category is let's say the category is D and the value is maybe 1500 and I save this one save it okay and let me uh, let, so okay now I go here Papa BI in go to this gateway demo and here in I click on the refresh now one is the scheduled refresh which will happen at 12 a.m. Now I can do the refresh now itself. Let me do it. So it is preparing for refresh. So it will take some time. Now we can see this. It has finished now. Let me go to the content again. Let me click on demo sales. Let me see control F5. So we can see that now it is showing us the six records the sixth one the one that we just added for uh, i4 it is also available here 